What's going on people? I am Wesley from A Connection TV, the one and only channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our difference. And I just went through all of my um, messages on YouTube. I, I get a lot of messages, not an extreme amount, but I get a lot of messages. And I don't often go through my messages because of me being busy and, you know, doing whatever. And I actually, I don't even think like it's it's hard for me to realize that people are going to send me messages so i hardly ever think that there's a reason for me to check because i'm just like people aren't going to send me messages but some of you guys do and i do respect that and i appreciate it and thank you so i was going through my messages and somebody sent me a message telling me to look at this video and i decided to look at this video um because they thought that mona simone would go off on the people on this video because you know Mona Simone goes off and I decided to watch this video Lord have mercy I am so disturbed by this video that I really had to do a video about this it's not even recent it's not even new um, this happened a while back but yeah yeah um, yeah 2009 and it's damn these two women go to uh, this girl's salon and decide to beat on her because of he said, she said bullshit. Not because they physically assaulted you, not because they um, did something to harm you in your life, but because of words that was exchanged that came out of their mouth that you think they said or somebody said that. What type of bullshit is that? Like, how do you how do you condone some type of shit like that? You got you got the dumb ass sitting here recording the shit like it's it's OK, like it's hot. Like this is the next hottest shit. Like what type of what type of mental deranged individual are you to sit there and record the shit like it's okay? Like and sit there recording it like you didn't you didn't come out like, "Oh, snap. Yo, you see this? Oh my god, like we got to report this." You came out like, "All right, I'm waiting for this shit to go." Y'all ready? Like uh these some real real raunchy broke ghetto fired motherfuckers to sit here and 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 really act crazy and and i apologize for the for the for the language but i'm pissed i'm pissed for a couple reasons you the girl the girl that got beat down allowed for this chick to wail on you when you had ample supply of weapons to defend yourself in your own shop it's your shop. You should know where every little thing is, even if it's, if it's a pencil. Grab the grab the pencil like this, and even if you even if you ain't got defensive, you know maneuverability, well on that hoe, well on her. <laughs> I got shades. I could do damage with. I got a Bacardi bottle. I could do damage with. I got this award that I got. You know that you could do dip. You could do damage with. I mean, there's so many things that you could have used to defend yourself, but you're just letting these this chick just sit there and hit on you for no reason. There were other people in the salon that were sitting here watching this and just standing still and watching this. You know, one chick is blocking the door from the girl to escape, and you sitting there, I guess, getting your hair done, and you're just wa just watching this. First of all. First of all, why would you sit there and watch? Let alone, let alone not do anything. Okay, all right. So you're just gonna allow this bitch to to block the door from letting you get out, and some some could really go down. Like guns could have been pulled out and everything, and you're just gonna sit there idle, not call nine one one. First of all, I would, I, I don't know where my phone is, but boop, 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 boop. 911, yeah, there's a beatdown going down in the salon. I think you need to come here right now because if they touch me, it's gonna go down. I mean, come on. Your life is in danger right now. You got this skinny broad blocking the door for your for you not to escape, let alone the chick that's getting beat down and you're not doing anything about it. There was more than one person in the shop allowing this chick to get ran on. There was one part where she got jumped and nobody dudes. Dudes are sitting there, grown men are sitting there watching this and they're not saying anything at all or not doing anything at all. My mind is racing right now. It's so disturbing to see us as a black people, okay? 
um, condoning condoning this. One, by videotaping this. Two, by not doing a damn thing. Three, by not calling the cops. Four, by not helping this girl out. The person that sent me this message told me to check out the sister seeking revenge. So the sister goes to seek revenge because this goes to court or whatever. This goes to court. The sister decides to seek revenge by going up to the girl that allowed for her sister to get beat down. And it really looks like she's about to seek physical revenge. But instead, she, I guess, is the bigger person by not doing anything. If, you know, my little sister got jumped bodies hood rat motherfuckers and I see the person there and I'm not go I just couldn't could not respond to this video because this video was is just very disturbing very 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 disturbing and um, black people wake up okay people wake up okay physical violence toward another person is something that's not it's not hot it's not the, the it thing. It's a sad thing. It's an ignorant thing. You know what I'm saying? If you are not defending yourself, it's it's bad to just want to fight somebody. Like, for what? Like, what is all of that for? I, for one, don't condone physical violence, but I do condone defending yourself from ignorant, ign ignorant people, from ignorant people. You need to do that. There is no way on this green earth I will allow somebody, first of all, First of all, to get up all in my face for no apparent reason. And second of all, to wail on me and me not do anything. The girl was not doing anything to defend herself. She was like, what did I do? What did I do? Then to top it off, the shit is on ABC News. A media outlet for the world to just continue to make fun of black people for acting so ignorant. And they're thinking it's hot. Like the, the people that beat up on the women went on a radio station blasting on it like it was some... Like it was the best thing in the world to do. The girl deserved it because she was talking out her ass. And so you decide to beat her up. And so you decide to jump on her. That makes you so big because you jump on somebody. Like that's straight ridiculous. So ignorant. And, and, and everybody's just laughing at us. Like wow. These are some monkey motherfuckers. Like real ignorant bastards. Like... I don't know, but um, somebody else has something to say about this situation. But listen. What's going on? Um, Yeah, so Wesley, I saw the video that you was talking about, about these motherfuckers beating down on this girl. And at first I thought it was, you know, a cheap ghetto imitation of the Bad Girls Club. Good. But, um, you know, when I was watching this motherfucking video, I was like, wait, uh, oh, wait, uh-uh, what? What happened? Like, first of all, first of all. Why the hell did that bitch allow her to get too close to her motherfucking fights where all of a sudden she was giving you nothing but motherfucking breath? That beasty ass, ugly motherfucking looking bro with that whack ass weave in her motherfucking head go get in your motherfucking face and you not gonna do nothing? You not gonna do nothing, bitch? Did you not see that motherfucking curling iron girl? That curling iron girl that was sitting right next to your motherfucking side. I'm watching this video like, wait, after wait, hugs up. So she all up in your face like, bitch, you said it, bitch, you said it. I would've been like, no, I didn't. Bam! Get the fuck out of my face. How? Get the fuck out of my face. You gonna sit there and let this bitch first of all come up in your motherfucking shop. Where's the goddamn motherfucking security? Where's the motherfucking security up in my motherfucking shop? First of all, because I know I look good. I know I'm gonna have hating ass bitches all up in my motherfucking face every goddamn day because I look good, good. So you know I'm a motherfucker have some goddamn security bitch. And then you gonna let this bitch hit you? Hell no, how? Hell no. You not gonna sit there and defend your motherfucking self? Girl, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been me. Wouldn't have been me. Moving on the road on both their asses, bitch. Them puck ass motherfuckers that's gonna sit there and try to jump my ass and I'm not gonna do something. And then the bitch gonna motherfucking block the goddamn door and I ain't gonna motherfucking do nothing. Girl, where my girls at? Where my girls at? Fuck all of that. Fuck all of that. Fuck all of that. I don't even need no motherfucking girls. I would have rat tagged them motherfucking hoes like it wasn't no motherfucking nothing else for me to motherfucking do. And then the bitch that's sitting there motherfucking recording the shit, I would have fucked her ass up too. Girl, I was just not the Wesley, I can't believe you sent me this motherfucking video and it give me only two, two motherfucking minutes to express myself. Bitch, I'm on a surround. I'm on a motherfucking surround. Girl, you should have whooped their ass. Girl.